Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Dr. Tapati's presentation. Today topic of the presentation is free radicals and antioxidants. Free radicals are highly unstable and chemically reacting molecular species containing at least one uh, unpaired electron in valency shell or outer orbit. They may be atom or molecule or ion. Unstability or uh, reactivity um, are gained due to the unpaired electron present in the valency shell or outer orbit. In order to get stability, in order to gain stability, they can either donate or accept an electron from other molecules. Therefore, they can behave as reductants or oxidants respectively. Now, if you see this figure, in that case, free radical can steal electron from a stable atom to pair with its unpaired electron. In that condition, free radical will be converted to uh, a stable molecule, stable, stable atom. Whereas, the stable atom will be converted to an unstable atom or free radical. Another way, this unpaired electron can be, uh, this un, uh, free radical can donate unpaired electron to this stable atom. In that case also, stable atom can be converted to unstable and uh, free, free radical is converted to a stable atom. Antioxidants donate an electron to the free radicals to stabilize that uh, free radical. All the free radicals are not reactive oxygens, whereas all the react uh, reactive oxygens are not free radicals. Few free radicals are coming under reactive oxygen. In my last video, I have uh, discussed about reactive oxygen species or ROS. I have shown that there are mainly two categories of reactive oxygen species, non-free radicals and free radicals. Examples of uh, free radicals are superoxide anion, singlet oxygen, paroxyl, hydroxyl, alkoxyl, hydroxyparoxyl, carbon dioxide uh, radical and uh, carbonate radical, etc. Along with reactive oxygen species or ROAs, there are several other reactive species including reactive nitrogen species, reactive chlorine species, reactive sulfur species and reactive selenium species. They are actually very good oxidizing agents and they can be easily converted into radicals. This table is showing various examples of uh, reactive species and uh, they are radical and non-radical forms. Antioxidants are compounds which reduce, neutralize and prevent the damage of cells caused by free radicals and thus reduce or eliminate the risk of certain diseases. These compounds are often reducing agents. So antioxidants are considered as quite stable molecules that can donate an electron to a free radical and neutralize them. Therefore, uh, by scavenging the free radicals, they can stop future damage in the cell caused by free radicals. Depending upon the mechanism of action of antioxidants, we can classify them into two groups, primary antioxidants and secondary antioxidants. So, two main mechanisms are followed by antioxidants. First one is chain breaking mechanism which is followed by primary antioxidants. In that case, primary antioxidants donates, donate an electron to the free radical. Whereas, in case of second mechanism that is associated with the removal of reactive uh, species initiators by quenching a chain initiating catalyst. Primary antioxidants are more powerful as they are involved in the elimination of millions of free radicals, whereas secondary antioxidants are able to quench only one free radical and quickly lose their antioxidant property without possibility of renewal. Antioxidants may provide their defensive action on biological systems at different levels, including electron donation, radical scavenging, prevention of lipid peroxidation, metal ion chelation, and regulation of gene expression. Various modes of action of antioxidants are 
combating reactive free radicals that induce peroxidation, preventing the generation of reactive radicals and decomposition of peroxides by metal insulation, scavenging uh, uh, peroxides, peroxide radicals to inhibit peroxide production, interrupting auto-oxidation reactions, and minimizing localized oxygen concentrations. Depending on the sources of antioxidants, they can be categorized into two groups, endogenous or cellular antioxidants and exogenous antioxidants. Endogenous uh, antioxidants are produced inside the cell. They are also known as primary antioxidants or inside out. Endogenous uh, antioxidants can be categorized into two groups, enzymatic and non-enzymatic. Enzymatic antioxidants examples are superoxide dismutase or SOD, catalase, peroxidase, and glutathione reductase. Non enzymatic endogenous antioxidants are lipophilic, including lipoic acid, ubiquitin, plasmogen, hydrophilic, those are uric acid, glutathione, conjugate bilirubin, melatonin, amino acids, uh, those are tryptophan, methionine, histidine, lysine, cysteine, arginine, and tyrosine. Metal binding proteins are ferritin, albumin, metallothionin, ceruloplasmin, and transferrin. Exogenous antioxidants means which are provided from outside our body. They can be categorized into two groups. Dietary antioxidants and synthetic antioxidants. Dietary antioxidants means secondary antioxidants which uh, we eat. And uh, that means it is outside in. Dietary antioxidants uh, examples are vitamins including vitamin C, E and A. Carotenoids including alpha, beta carotenes and uh, the zeaxanthin, lutein, lycopene, beta, cryptoxanthin. Minerals examples are copper, zinc, selenium, manganese and iron. Polyphenols including flavones, flavonones, flavonols anthocyanins, isoflavones, and phenolic acids. Examples of synthetic antioxidants are phenolic structures like uh, propyl gallate, uh, tertiary butyl uh, hydroquinone or TBHQ, butylated hydroxy anisole BHA, butylated hydroxytoluene BHT, diphenylamine DPA, nano antioxidants Examples are metal oxide based uh, silica nanoparticles, polydopamine nanoparticles, and nano composite polysaccharides and protein based nano antioxidants. Among synthetic antioxidants, uh, these uh, phenolic structure antioxidants are not at all good for health if you use it um, in, a, in, in a huge amount. So, it's very small amount you can take. Mostly they are used in a food uh, preservation process. But uh, dietary antioxidants are very useful for our health. However, most valuable antioxidants are endogenous antioxidants because our body, uh, body is synthesizing those antioxidants. Uh, whereas exogenous antioxidants are quite less valuable. If you think this video is helpful for you, kindly like, share and subscribe this channel.